hello guys welcome to my another video tutorial in this video I'm gonna teach you how you can make a Java script validation form this is a complete validation form I press a register button then you are able to see the each red line and display message appeared each input text field I write anything else on the each text box for example I enter the AAA on the first input text box and I press register then you are able to see the first message has been removed now I use the same way but I change the uh, I mean password then you are able to see guys password does not match right but I use AAA and click to register then I will redirect with another website like this so in this video I'm gonna teach you how you can make this form using bootstrap and JavaScript I have designed this form using bootstrap all right so let's get started to understand guys first of all I open my code editor in this code editor I have already included the JavaScript files and bootstrap files and I have already included the manual JS file and also CSS file like this this is the empty file and uh, I find my JavaScript file this is uh, my manual JS file right those are empty this is empty and uh, CSS file is empty now I have already included the each file on my index.html document right so let's get started to understand how we can design it and how we can use javascript to validate the form first of all guys i will design the form first i assign the i go to um, my css and use body and assign the background color background color as ccc it means gray color right light gray and then i go to my index.html file and i will make a div under this div i make a uh, guys assign the class I assign the class container and I assign the class guys class card and I will use the guys margin mx auto and bg doc this is our card right in this card I will use um, heading tag sign up form for registration and I will make another paragraph tag I mean single paragraph tag and I will use fill in the blanks for registration now then I will make an input text field and assign the ID uname and assign the class form control right and after this input text field I will make a div and assign the class sorry I assign the ID u blank okay and I will assign the class bg danger text white and then I use margin top bottom 2 and padding left 2 right set the document and I run the I mean I open this file on live server In just a minute right this is our form 
and uh, background color is uh, guys gray right light gray full gray okay no problem okay guys so uh, the next thing is I wanna display the form on the center so I can uh, remove the classes and I make another div in this div I assign the call md6 and assign the same classes like uh, margin left and right auto and bg top and I cut this div and paste on him right okay that's looking so nice now the I think I need to um, assign the color on here bg doc okay save and check it okay now looking so nice but I remove the uh, bg color on the main div like this okay and I will use a uh, placeholder placeholder username right now the next thing is I will uh, copy the paste four times username 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 I change the user email user password user confirm password confirm password then I change the IDs on each input text field and also div tag. So this is the username input text field name and I change the un email you pass you see pass okay it means confirm password and I change the IDs on the each div like this this is a blank tick I will display this div after using uh, on click button so I change the IDs you email blank I just change email blank pass blank pass C blank right save and then open the browser and then I need to make a another input tag field I mean button tag sorry I use this class btn btn success and I use this submit right now another thing I wanna use the padding 5 pixels okay but I think um, that's not good I use 3 pixel okay now I think that's perfect and I will uh, use margin top 5 pixel okay and another thing I will uh, use guys text color white right okay now the another thing guys I will use the bootstrap I mean uh, JavaScript uh, validation form so I go to my where is a JavaScript file manual.js first of all I make a function enter the function name my fun parenthesis is clip bracket in this script brackets I first I make a variable username and I will get the ID from input text field right so I go to my first input text field like you name and paste here and I make a same process to get the values from the each input text field so I go to second input text field and I will make a you pass get element by ID and I go to my 
you pass where you see pass get element by id and i use c pass right and then i use if statement to check the validation right so first of all i make uh, i call the user email hl to empathy then uh, display the document get element by id and i call the div id which appeared on the each input text field like this copy it and go to javascript i remove the css file and paste it and i use the dot in the html and and i use the double quotation and enter the text please enter the username and I use else if username not equal to empathy equal to empathy then call the same way document dot get element by ID you blank dot inner HTML equal to none save and open the browser I press submit button okay okay one more thing we need to do is copy the function and call the function on here on click on click right terminate okay I press just a minute what is problem on click Mm, where is the problem guys on click the function name is my fun best here what is problem guys just a minute I check the code you blank dot in a dot HTML just a minute guys I check the code guys I think to I need to uh, use the dot value on here because I need to get the value from dot value I will get the value from input text field so I think I need to use a dot value okay okay now guys you are able to see please enter your username I press ff and then I need to use dot in html document dot uh, blank ok p is small press ok one more thing we need to do is I press I click on submit button then you are able to see two red line and white text appeared but I wanna display the text on after the input text field but I will uh, make a space between input text field and also text so I go to my index.html and I use the margin I change the mx means margin top and bottom oh, sorry I need to use where is uh, another blank this is a blank margin top and I use guys just a minute I use margin top too I use more margin top bottom M Y two right okay that's perfect I use same process on each input text field so I use M Y two m y2 and i use m y2 right so guys i will use same process else if 
and I call the password you pass HL2 empathy then call document dot get element by ID and I call the second div I think I need to use email sorry I use user email this variable okay and I call the second div ID paste here and I use dot inner HTML HL2 please enter your email and I use else if user email not equal to empathy then I call document dot get element by ID and I use same process email blank dot in a HTML equal to empathy right save and then open the browser if it's the page okay I need to remove else I mean if and I cut the if and I use else because I want to display the each error what is problem guys so else else okay, else if else if say right so I press FF okay now that's perfect okay guys I will use some process if you pass HL2 empathy and then I call document dot get element by ID and I call the third variable I mean ID sorry guys I paste here and call the dot in a HTML HL2 please enter your password password now then I use else if you pass not equal to empathy and then I call the same way document dot get element by ID you pass password blank sorry this is the ID name of the and a HTML let's check it right now the final step is I will call the if you see pass equal to empathy basically bracket document dot get element by ID and I call the last div ID like password C blank and paste here then I used you know HTML HL2 please enter confirm password I write simple pass and I use else if and I call uc pass not equal to empty then come into the body section and call document dot get element by ID and call the same ID on here then I call in a HTML and I just write the double quotation save and open the browser refer the page right and I press the each I mean I enter the each data on each text box then you are able to see the whole error has been removed right but I'm gonna display but I'm gonna uh, check the password confirmation I mean this input text field and also second input text field data will match then the message will appear data has been successfully saved right 
so first thing I wanna first I check the place order okay 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 now the after the button I will make a div right and then I assign the class bg success text white and I use the margin padding left pl I use padding uh, all side to pixel and then I use margin top to pixel and then I assign the ID success right so I call this ID after completing the input text field data then I call the success message so I call uh, I mean I copy the this ID and I go to on the now another thing guys I will uh, check the each I mean password will match then display the message okay first I use the password matching data so first of all I use guys if you pass you pass HL2 UC pass right then display the documented get element by ID and I call the same success message dot in a HTML and you successfully register you you have successfully registered otherwise I use else if you pass not equal to you see pass I call first this section because I will uh, redirect with I use not equal to see pass and I quote the message paste here and I display the message document dot get element by ID and I call uc password okay this ID on here and call in you know, a HTML and I use the please enter confirm password right now the another thing is else if use password not equal to I mean um, I use the equal to sorry both are equal then display this message but I think I need to use another important thing is I will redirect with another website or another page so guys I need to uh, call on each variable on here and I call the u name not equal to empty and sign u email not equal to empty and sign u pass not equal to empty and then I will finally use and sign you see pass not equal to empathy then display this message and redirect with another website so I use window dot location equal to double I'm in parenthesis double comma and I use the website like this finally I'll use terminal sign 7 then open the browser okay this is a uh, okay let's check it first I use the not match the password but I use yeah, right please enter confirm password I use www then I see display message and redirect with my website right but I think I check the padding for I remove it ok 
Okay. Just a minute. Right. Okay, I need to use padding left side. P left. P L. And I call. Right, guys. So that's a very simple process to make a JavaScript validation form. I hope you are understood as well. Thank you very much for watching. See you next lecture, guys.